humans fear time. And time, afraid of pyramids. After thousands of years of sand, the pyramids stand tall and proud. The ancient Egyptians, with their brilliant wisdom and amazing talent, created human miracles. Across the Nile, the noise of old Cairo recedes. Some 50 kilometers east of downtown Cairo, in the desert, another architectural marvel is taking place. Here, the Chinese helped Egypt to renew its past glory and build a new city in the desert. This is the central business district project for Egypt's new administrative capital. The highest point of the landmark tower is 385.8 meters, which is known as the tallest building in Africa. The central business district project of the new administrative capital of Egypt is undertaken by the Egypt branch of China State Construction Company, LTD including 20 high-rise buildings and supporting municipal works. During the construction of the project, the Chinese contractor cooperated with more than 300 local Egyptian enterprises, which directly or indirectly led to the employment of more than 30,000 local workers. In March 2015, in order to reduce Cairo's population and traffic pressure, the Egyptian government planned to build a new administrative capital. In January 2016, under the joint witness of the leaders of China and Egypt, China State Construction Engineering Corporation and the Egyptian Ministry of Housing signed a cooperation agreement on the construction of a new administrative capital. In June 2016, Yuan Hao, chief engineer of the CBD project, came to Egypt to take charge of the design of the CBD project. How to complete the planning and design of a national-level business core area in a very short period of time and obtain the approval of the Egyptian high-level officials has become the top priority of the design team. Yuan Hao led the design team in two months to quickly complete the regional planning, business distribution, functional distribution, etc., which was recognized by the Egyptian Ministry of Housing, determined the positioning and scale of the project, and laid the foundation for subsequent project approval and financing. From October 2017 to the end of April 2018, Yuan Hao led the team to complete the signing of the design contract through multiple rounds of negotiations, pushing the project into the formal implementation stage. In early May 2018, the Central Business District project started construction and is committed to creating a model of cooperation between China and Egypt under the One Belt, One Road initiative. From this, the skyline of Egypt's new administrative capital gradually rises in a desert. However, the difficulty of building skyscrapers in the desert can be imagined. When the engineering team first arrived, it was a desert with nothing. Everything was difficult at first. At that time, the project team members had different living habits, language and culture, and communication was difficult. After the project entered the construction stage, it faced difficulties such as tight construction schedule, difficult construction coordination and safety management, and high construction organization requirements. In order to ensure the smooth completion of each node, construction personnel studied the drawings in depth, constantly optimized the construction plan, and insisted on organizing production at the construction site to ensure construction safety. On February 25, 2019, the 18,500 cubic meter super large concrete foundation floor of the main building of the sign tower started pouring. On June 17, 2021, the sign tower was topped out. On May 18, 2022, the last high rise building in the Central Business District project was capped, marking the completion of the construction of the main structure of the project's 20 individual projects. 
The 10 office buildings on the north side of the Central Business District project have been delivered by the end of 2022. The remaining 10 buildings and the municipal landscape in the area will be completed this year. Chinese and Egyptian builders work together to overcome many difficulties and create a miracle in the desert. As an important project in Egypt's National Rejuvenation Plan and a key project in China-Egypt's joint construction of the Belt and Road, the Central Business District project not only focused on engineering construction during the construction process, but also promoted local development. To build super high-rise buildings in the complex environment of desert areas, the unique geological structure, year-round sandstorms, and high temperatures in summer are all huge challenges. For example, the C-80 high-strength concrete used in the construction of the landmark tower is the first of its kind in Africa, and there is no historical data for reference. In order to ensure the first-time success of the construction, the project team designed more than 30 sets of plans and finally successfully developed high-strength concrete suitable for super-high-rise pumping, setting a record for the application of high-strength concrete in high-temperature desert areas. During the construction of the project, Chinese construction companies cooperated with more than 300 local Egyptian companies, directly or indirectly creating employment for more than 30,000 local workers. The project department established the first Luban College in Egypt, which improved the technical level of Egyptian workers through theoretical learning and skills training, and also allowed many Chinese and Egyptian employees to form a deep friendship between foreign masters and apprentices. In addition to assisting Egypt's infrastructure construction and promoting national economic development, this project has also enhanced mutual exchanges between the people of the two countries and deepened their understanding of each other's countries. During the construction of the Central Business District project, Chinese and Egyptian participating units worked together to take a number of measures in project planning, architectural design, construction and other aspects to actively implement the construction concepts of green environmental protection, energy conservation and emission reduction. The Egyptian government proposed green development at the beginning of its planning for the new administrative capital, which coincides with China's Green Belt and Road Initiative. China has had in-depth discussions and exchanges with Egypt on this, and has introduced new technologies and new processes from China, which not only made the project construction smoother, but also enhanced mutual trust between the two parties. In terms of planning, the project combines municipal and landscape design and sets up an efficient public transportation system and pedestrian system to encourage residents to take public transportation and walk to achieve green travel. In terms of design, the project scientifically uses different types of concrete, which saves construction energy consumption. The unitized glass curtain wall is used combined with high-performance glass and sunshade components to reduce production and operation energy consumption. During construction, the project used aluminum formwork to replace traditional wooden formwork, which has a high recycling rate and significantly reduced material loss. A reclaimed water system is set up on site to purify wastewater and use it for on site dust removal, greening watering, vehicle cleaning, etc., saving a lot of water resources. In the Central Business District project, China State Construction Engineering Corporation has implemented the concept of sustainable development. From material selection to the application of new technologies, allowing Egypt to benefit from it. For example, the use of rock wool insulation boards and double glazed curtain walls improves the thermal insulation performance of the building, 
effectively reduces the building's cooling and heating load and reduces energy consumption. Thermal storage tanks can balance the power supply during peak power consumption periods and improve power supply efficiency. Using the Building Intelligent Management System, all equipment can be intelligently controlled according to different usage scenarios. Yuan Hao, chief engineer of the Central Business District Project, said that China has taken the lead in exploring a set of green construction technologies suitable for developing countries. After practical testing, relatively mature plans and measures have been formed, providing a practical reference for Egypt in green construction. This will help Egypt quickly complete the transformation from concept to practice, and also lay the foundation for Egypt's green technology innovation and green industry upgrading. In the future, China and Egypt will align their respective development strategies and visions and use infrastructure construction and production capacity cooperation to build Egypt into a fulcrum country along the Belt and Road. China is willing to participate in the construction of Egypt's Suez Canal Corridor, the new administrative capital and other major projects, and continue to expand cooperation with Egypt in trade, financing, aerospace, energy, human resources development, security, and other fields. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, comment and subscribe to our channel for more great content. See you next time.